I tell you what, mate, we're a long way from Scotland. <laughs> Not quite where we should be, to be honest. This is going to be 14 hours of night riding. It doesn't matter who you are, 24 hours hurts. Oh, <sighs> How far could you ride in 24 hours? What would happen if you just decided to set off one day and ride and not stop until the clock ticks past 24 hours? We didn't know, but it seemed like something we should try. We told the Swiss bike brand BMC and they were keen to make it happen. And so it was that in less than perfect conditions at the onset of winter here in the UK, where temperatures are just in single digits. Nighttime hours are significantly longer than day and it rains. Well, as much as it always does here. It looked like we'd be finding out. Only this is the second time I'll be trying to find out. The first you might remember was when Chris and I tried it, but were thwarted by an epic day of rain, strong winds, which made it almost impossible. Unfortunately, Chris wasn't up for it this time, so I needed to find the person most qualified for a stunt like this. And by a stroke of luck, he happened to be in the neighborhood. Now, Mark, I'm massively inspired across all your adventures. Now, you've got to get home tomorrow, okay? I'm guessing you've got a flight. Yeah, it's quite a long way, yeah. So, what about, and work with me here, um, we set off from around here, and you cycled up to Scotland with me. That will involve about 14 hours of darkness. Yeah. And I reckon it's about 500 kilometers to the Scottish border. You up for it? Uh, let's talk about it afterwards, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, oh that's... here's the send-off party. Absolutely, there you go, mate. Oh, you, you, you got the uh, you got the route? I've got the route heading north. Yeah, some highlights. <laughs> Absolute highlights. Trust, in there. trust you, Ollie. <laughs> Have you got your live tracks on so we can work out where you are? Yes. yes. So when you're uh, up checking us at 2 a.m. Oh, absolutely, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll set my alarm. It sounds like you're both ready anyway, so yeah. we shall wish you the best of luck. Actually, you don't need luck, really. Hank, good luck. We'll be fine. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Here we right, go. Boys. Good luck. Do us proud. Right. Scotland, here Cheerio. we come. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, I'm glad that's not me, Jack. Have you seen the forecast for later up north? I'm gonna tip it down. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, uh, it's lunchtime. Fancy going to the pub? Excellent idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on where they are on the live tracker. Of all madcap ideas, I mean, I'm all for green travel, but substituting my flight home for a bike ride. I mean, I've enjoyed one long bike ride with you before, but that was like midsummer in France in the sunshine. Oh, this, my friend, is totally different. <laughs> We're about 40 minutes into the ride and this is definitely the false sense of security. I don't care how much big miles riding you've done, there's always that anticipation, the nerves, and then you're on the bike and you're, hey, I feel a million dollars. You know, none of the pain and the suffering and the grit and the, has set in yet, but right now, I can do this. Uh, yeah, I'm worried I'm gonna use too much excitement or energy through my excitement. But it, it's all about reining it back, yeah, isn't exactly. it? exactly. Now you're probably wondering what we're riding. We're riding the BMC row machines that BMC have kindly lent us for this utterly crazy challenge. And if you want to know more about the bike, well, here's me checking it out. They're very much a part of the performance endurance category in the sense that they're not an out and out race bike. They more excel on the endurance days, the long days in the saddle. They've got wider tire clearance and a frame that is designed for comfort as well as performance. That said, they are still really, really light with a frame weight of only 850 grams. Now BMC says as well as boosting the compliance of the frame by dropping the seat stays and using that D-shaped seat post, but they've also increased the torsal stiffness of the frame, which gives you extra precise handling and responsiveness of the bike.
ready for night time. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be, uh, well, it's only, I can see my breath already. It's only, uh, it's not even five o'clock in the afternoon, lights are on. And uh, look at that. It's gonna be at least 14 hours of dark. So whilst this is a, a new bike for me, it's a BMC, never ridden, never ridden it until this morning. Um, I did do a few things to try and adapt it for ultra endurance. First and foremost, double tape the bars. You know, just literally second, second layer of tape to try and get some extra comfort. You don't notice it for the first 12 hours, second 12 hours, you can really start to feel that through the hands. My phone battery's already gone, so I've got a battery pack and I'm gonna chuck in there with all my goodies. Um, but I'd be lying to say that I wasn't pretty nervous for this. This is gonna be 14 hours of night riding and I've got very minimal experience in night riding and it's very cold. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, see how I get on. <laughs> Hey, we'll be in Manchester about bar closing time. We might, I know, we might be able to get Cabal to... <laughs> or get last rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hours, 20 minutes riding time in, and we've done 175 kilometers. And the rain has started. Now it's giving us a bit of a dusting at the minute, but we've looked at the weather forecast, and it says it's gonna get a bit heavier as we go north. So I'm just praying it's not going to be too heavy. It's uh, feeling pretty late now. We're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. The chat's died down. It is wet. It is cold. This is starting to feel pretty tough. Justin. Yeah, me too. Oh. I'm gonna go down. Oh. This is uh, getting a bit interesting. I knew it would be tough for me set out today because um, the forecast was terrible. We were kind of um, lulled into a false sense of security with the, you know, with the drive for longer than we thought, but now it's properly set in. So um, yeah, it's just a case of we're wet, it's cold, middle of the night, get some food in and keep going. If we stop for more than five minutes, we're gonna get far too cold. All right, let's go big guy. Cheers boys for the fish chip. join the party goers in the middle of Manchester and well on every night out at 3am you get yourself a McDonald's so we're doing just that Mark's waiting for an order he looks kind of out of place there <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, what coffee have you got there, mate? Hey guys. Flat white. Some white coffee, yeah. Flat white? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Have you listened? This is where Cappuccino, man. Cappuccino. <laughs> there you have it. You need to get a cappuccino. Cappuccino! There you go. <laughs> So we're two thirds of the way through, well over 200 miles in, and uh, not quite where we should be to be honest. It feels so nice to see the sun. 14 hours of darkness, this is a really nice wake up call. All good. It's yeah. cold, eh? Made it, made it through dawn. Long night. It got to the point where people were overtaking dangerously. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't eaten enough in the last three, four hours. And it's caught up on me. So I need to get some food and eat something. This is what I need. Yes, first I'm in desperate need of food. village shop that's open. Let's wow, see what we got. Oh, look how Yorkshire that is. Lakes, Yorkshire. Lakes. Don't know where we are. I yeah, I don't know why. Cyclists, stop here for drinks, cakes, and sandwiches. Oh. Yes, I will. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thanks for Thank you. Thank you. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Going right here, mate. Those pan of chocolates, I was going through a really big rough patch. So to spot that shop and get some warm pan of chocolates and a bacon butty has just put me right up. It's exactly what we need, mate. 23 hours into a ride. I know. One hour left. And we get up this. Woo! I mean, I know I'm staring at the tarmac in front of my wheel, but it is a glorious day. And if you were to have asked me 12 hours ago, I wouldn't have thought that was possible. Oh, it's a Highland Coup. I know, they're beautiful. I feel like my knee's gonna explode. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are, 24 hours hurts. So, I think I'll tell you in a week's time I loved it, but right now, oh, can't wait to get to the finish. to go. Oh, thank the Lord. I've ridden 460k to get a train home. I've got quite a short train home. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah. One minute to go. One minute to go. Oh, it's going to be the longest minute of my life. Twenty-four hours. That's good, buddy. It's Twenty-four hours done, mate. Come here. Oh, it's been an emotional, chap. <laughs> that was a big guy. Broken now. Well, that was that. Twenty-four hours. We failed to reach our goal of the Scottish border. Although rest assured, Mark still made it home to look after his kids for the weekend. 
In total, we clocked up 497 kilometers. And no, I wasn't tempted to do the extra three kilometers. This hurt, it really hurt. We finished up on the shores of Ulswater in the Northern Lake District, just shy of our destination, but safe in the knowledge that ultimately we had succeeded. We rode our bikes as far as we could for 24 hours. That was a hard day out. It was. It's kind of like all the streets of a hangover without having been anywhere near a pub. <laughs> oh, Mark, that was another absolutely, wow, just incredibly difficult ride. We're, ma we're making a habit of this. We are. 24 hours of struggle, and we ended on the aptly named struggle. And, uh, as we've had for most of the day, a massive block headwind. I'm sure we're going to look back very fondly on this ride. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Just listen to that wind. And please do give us a thumbs up. This is on him. It was his idea. And uh, maybe leave a comment and tell us about your big rides. If you do fancy ticking that big box and trying a 24 hour, absolutely go for it. But maybe not in November. Yeah, and if you guys want another video of maybe us suffering, then why don't you check out the 1903 film, which is just down there.